Hello and welcome to the NASCAR Legends series. We are here in Indianapolis, racing 1987 style for 50 laps. And uh, as I said to Chad here, who is in the race as the number three, while well, we are the number one, uh, I feel like I could use a little more practice. I was feeling like I was just kind of starting to get it figured out um, at the end of uh, the open practice beforehand here. And uh, then it said, your session is ready. So. Um, we'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll see how long runs go as well, because I uh, have the feeling it's going to be real different. Chad says he could use some uh, more practice as well, he's thinking. Oh my god, I'm looking at his message and not the track. Ah! Okay, we get an off track, we're fine. <laughs> that could have been worse. Is that going to be a, a black flag though? We're gonna find out in about two Once seconds. It's my fault. I'm texting and driving. It's my fault. This is why you don't do it. Okay, try this again. That was just a practice run. See, I needed more practice. I said, and uh, there you go. There was more practice. Your I get more pit road, <laughs> pit road exit practice. It's definitely what I was talking about. So. Um, I kind of found that I liked putting the brakes real far back to uh, get as much turn in the braking as possible. So we're doing minimum brakes here, which probably a bad idea, but um, I think uh, if I'm gentle with it, I can get some good turn on entry. The uh, one big problem is if we have green flag pit stops, I really hope I can remember to move that up before we uh, have to actually do that because I am almost guaranteed to spin it out on entry otherwise and uh, that would be bad if we uh, spin out on uh, pit entry I might end up looking like I did in that gen 4 race at Rockingham and uh, driver side dooring it <laughs> into the barrel which would be not fast and not good So as is usually the key here at Indy, it's real important to get a good run off. And that's kind of an important thing in this car in general anyway. So I guess it means it's doubly so here. And so I'm trying to kind of be smooth with it. You can gain a lot on entry as well though if you're brave. When I first uh, loaded up, I was very surprised by how much this thing's actually turning. I was expecting this thing to completely plow into the corners since we're heading in there. Oh god, oh! Okay, almost got into the wall. Um, especially since we're going about 180, 190, heading into the long t uh, straightaway turns. P2, that lap was a 55.8. I thought for sure that this thing was just not going to turn, but it seems like it's got some pretty good turn, as evidenced by the fact I'm drifting in turn one right now. Uh, second lap's not going to matter. This car just loses too much grip. After one lap, I don't know why I had a brain fart there and I couldn't finish that sentence. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, you really have to get your qualifying done in one lap in this car, generally. I can already feel it's super uh, sketchy on the throttle already, but we'll go ahead and finish this lap, and then we'll try to come around again and see if we can't uh, practice the pit in. I'm going to try it with the 42% and see how it works, but we could very well be getting some more <laughs> qualifying incident points. There's the flag. It's over. So during the race, I'm definitely going to try to back it down more, and I'm going to be much more How's gentle on the rear yeah. tire. Hey, we were pretty close to pole. The number two got the pole, it looks like, by six one thousandths. I'm happy with the lap I ran. I feel like I hit it about as good as I could. Oh, and the four overtaking. Four will go ahead and get uh, a point seven. Definitely feels like... When the track's fresh, you got a ton more grip. Part of the dynamic track, I'm guessing. So we're gonna 
keep it low on exit here. Oh, <laughs> even getting on the brakes just a little bit there. Watch your speed limit in the pits. <sighs> yeah, that could have been better. You won't accept the way you're driving. Your lap times will be deleted until you reach. And I didn't even skid the tires or anything. They're really picky about how you hit the brakes while qualifying. But I'm glad that guy overtook me. Because I'd much rather start P3. And in fact, we're getting started right now. So, you know, I think I might be okay if I'm gentle uh, on entry, the pit entry. So I think we might be good. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to look at the tires. I was kind of curious. I think after a few, a couple laps, it'll look like it's on the right rear. I don't know what it's going to do after that, though. But it feels like it gets loose. So I'm going to be gentle on exits as well as on the entries. And hopefully we aren't spinning the thing out either. It was really important not to slam the wall here. It's really easy to get that four tire slide if you overdrive it. Section last lap. Yeah, so a, a decent 2600 strength of field here, even if we are the number one. I guess uh, 2600 is pretty average. We've got an estimated 38 laps of fuel, so we will have to fuel the thing up at some point. And two tires, two sets of tires rather. That'd be bad if we were running around on only two tires. That would be called a motorcycle race. But <laughs> we uh, will have to come get some fuel and be smart about those tires. And when we use them. I can see this either going green or being a complete wreck fest. I'm not sure if we're going to get much in between unless we get some big wrecks early and knocks and it uh, knocks a bunch of people out. So, James on the pole. We got Aaron Carter on our outside. Uh, likes candy, apparently. A 90s reference for you. Oh, that's early 2000s, isn't it? Aaron Carter was early 2000s, right? I think so. Who will uh, represent <laughs> the first yellow of the race? We'll see how this goes. Looking like a second gear start, probably. I think we're going to save some fuel. We're 12 laps short, but we, if we get a bunch of cautions early on, maybe we'll be okay. Can't hurt, I guess. To have some extra fuel in this thing. If this does go green and we uh, do a green flag stop, I think I'll probably do a two-tire call. That usually seems to be the play in this car, if you have the option. Especially under green. According to Race Lab, in order to gain anything I-rating-wise out of this race, we're going to have to finish top three. So we'll see what happens, but as the number one car, they're tough on you. They're like, you better win. And there are a lot of people that are better than me in this car, so that's going to be a tall tale, a tall order. I'll be telling tall tales about me winning, because I'm not going to win, but I can go afterward and say, hey, man, I won by 38 seconds. That would be a tall tale. But getting started here. Four is going to get the launch. See if we can get to the inside of the two. Not quite. Outside. Who's gonna stay to our outside? Or that's the five, rather. It's fourth place. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. He's gonna zoom past us. That's fine. I'm just trying to be easy early on. Swank is now in the lead. 
They're all going pretty high up the track. That's interesting. Let me taking it real gentle. I'm with seven. I'm down to this thing behind you, buddy. So don't worry about me. Die bomb me. They seem to be battling pretty hard for that top spot. That might tell me that uh, they have experience and it could be difficult to pass later. Because they're driving in real hard to the corner, it feels like. I'm going to be careful with this thing. I'm not in so much of a hurry. And we're keeping up just fine, it feels like. Them being side by side is almost definitely why. Man, they're just going to bounce off each other on the straightaway. Yeah, look at him slide up the track. That can't be good for the tires, right? Two sliding around. Five's in the wall. Thanks for the drop in. Inside. Wow, we're, we are in a hurry. Clear inside. Car outside. Clear to the inside of the five. Or not, he'll get the runoff. Clear on the outside. I'm really worried about how hard they're driving right now. Inside. Seven again looking to our inside, but Clear. backing off. Oh my god. <laughs> he gained a lot on entry there. Scared me. Gonna ride behind the two here. Maybe things calming down a little bit. They're not side by side anymore, at least. Starting to get a little bit of that slideways feeling out of the corners. Gonna try to avoid that. That's just going to heat the tires up and make that issue worse. We're keeping up in their draft and everything, and we're giving about 60% at most right now, so I'm happy with how things are going so far. It's green as well, which is awesome. Didn't get some of the uh, immediate yellow flags as I thought we might. He's driving in hard, almost getting into the five it looked like. Just a little bit there, kind of thinking about getting a run. Might have to take this Car here. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. No, it's not gonna happen. Clear. He's gonna fight it off. So we'll wait a little bit longer. Okay, Colton, the next car is Swank. Might have to pass on the outside. Don't want to get to his outside there, though. That would be dangerous. I 
very sideways there. That's crazy. I wasn't even pushing at all, and it started feeling like it was pitching. Something I think happened behind us. I think I see some people fanned out way back there. Might have been a wall hit or something. Two is definitely off pace compared to us right now. Would like to get by. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Car outside. Okay, we got some draft. That'll help. Still there. Still there. The next car's the leader. P3, you've just done a 57.6. Keep low. Nah, you, just, you can't pass on the inside, it feels like. They're able to get too much of a run. Really annoying, because he's way off pace right now. Clear. Now we're going to get a guy on our outside. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, you got to pass on the outside, I guess. Someone's in the wall. P5. They're still not pulling away or anything. I mean, they've uh, they've gotten a little bit there, but I think that's just because they're pushing harder than I am. Still going like 60% at most. Still top five too, which is great. You've just done a fifty seven point seven. Not sure how we get to the outside at Indy. Kind of crazy that the outside seems to be the way to do it here in the first place, but Let's see what we can do. It's ten laps in now. 20% of the race. Not for sure that the uh, two and maybe a couple other guys were falling off earlier, but Seems like they're okay after all. Woo, almost got the wall there. I made that real close for no reason. I mean, it was pretty fast, I guess, exiting four, but...
So how do we get to the outside at Indy? Good question. Me? Wait for somebody else to try to pass? Wait for a guy to spin out? That's one way to do it. Hopefully he does not come up onto the track because of yellow. I'm enjoying the screen flag racing so far. By pulling away a little bit. Up there. Okay, Colton. Pit window open. You're in fourth position. Your window's open. That's interesting. I think we definitely pit if a yellow comes out. Which it thankfully didn't for the four. Or rather, uh, was that the four? That might have been the four. The guy who spawned. Chad's moving his way forward. He's in seventh down there, I see. Got about 26 laps of fuel remaining. That lap was at 57.9. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. We can probably enter a little bit harder and get some more speed out of this. There's the four coming out of the pits. Oh, the seven's getting sideways. It looked like he holds on to it though. Whoa! Saw it almost snap on him as he corrected it. Might have to pick up the pace. They're uh, they're pulling away a little bit. That was a fifty-eight point zero. We'll enter a little bit harder. Inside. All right, here comes the four Still there. on fresh Inside. tires. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Uh, he looks like he's almost losing it. That scared me for a second. Should be able to get away from us pretty quick, though. That's someone in the wall trying to see around the floor. Make sure no one's coming at us real quick. Man, I thought I was doing good with the tire saving and I was going to be good long run, but these guys are just doing better. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. So they do seem to be moving up a lane. Going a lane higher than I am in the corner, so maybe I should be taking a wider entry. That was a 58.0. Feels really weird to do that at Indy though, I feel like. I mean I they just seem to be going so wide.
I see they're like exiting almost like in the middle or higher on exit. And that just seems so counterintuitive to me at Indy. Like, I feel like it's not going to stick if I drive it out there, but it's working for them. I'm almost scared to go out there. Not almost, I am. I am too scared to go out there. Your last lap time was at 58.1. We'll try it though. Oh yeah, there's definitely grip out here. You know how to use it. <laughs> Holy cow, that feels weird though. That must be cooler up there, I guess. So you get some more uh, grip through the corner. Guess I'll just take my half measure and go about as wide through there as I feel comfortable, and not any more than that. For P4, that's not bad. Good consistency. Keep them coming. I can definitely put more throttle into it than I expect once I'm out there. I just don't trust it enough. The gap in front is now 0.8. Well, there they go. <laughs> I'm trying to wheel myself up higher in the in the corner. That didn't really work. That might have been a bit too high there. Got the 11 coming up on us. He's half a second or so behind. Get closer to pit stops. I'm going to go a little longer. Your lap time was 58.3. Because you do not want to get caught a lap down in this series. If a caution were to come out. Interesting that that four flew by us real quick and then now he's kind of just been stuck up there in their group. Levin's still holding even, they are still pulling away from us. Up front. That lap time was 58.3. Definitely lost a lot of grip. Starting to slide a whole lot. Levin's getting closer to us because of it.
We'll let the 11 go. It looks like he's faster than us at this point. Is he going to take it now or is he going to wait till next corner? I appreciate him for waiting. I think that'll be better for both of us. He should be able to get us uh, probably the X2 if I slide through the corner that bad. Holy cow. There's no grip left in this thing. Whew. 17 laps of fuel left. The 11 was going to pass me right away. You got some people pitting, it looks like. That, was a that could really help them out if we uh, do go green. Just not quite up to the speed as those uh, four guys in front of us. Even though the four had an issue, he was still doing better than we were anyway. We gained a little bit on the 11. All right, maybe we will hold on to fourth for a while. All right, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. has made his way around the two car it looks like oh we're getting sideways trying to find that grip when do we pit Good question. We're halfway home. We think about 14 laps remaining on this tank. You've just done a 58 point. Sliding a bit too much. It almost feels like the bottom lane's got more grip now. Kind of like it's uh, switched back. I guess that's what's supposed to happen, right? It's dynamic. Everybody starts going a lane up, well, suddenly the bottom's better now. Certainly didn't feel better there, though, because I drifted through turn three. Doesn't help that my rear tires are probably really hurting. Even if the track has grip, my tires don't. can't believe how far those guys have pulled away. I don't know what I'm doing differently other than just... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe I'm entering too hard, not getting enough of a runoff. I'm also very inconsistent. I mean, just look at this sector two of the last lap here. The 
car behind you. Come Almost on. two tenths by the time we get to turn one. There's that outer lane that's got so much grip. That's what I should be. That's what they're doing. I guarantee you, that's what they're doing. They're they being daring enough to run higher and uh, hit the gas pedal at the same time, and it grips up. It's just something I'm not used to being able to do. We got fresh tires coming behind us. Be very careful to be predictable here. Car inside. Stay high. The car get by, no problem. Keep high. Clear. Just done early. Oh my God! What Outside. just happened there? You're on the Don't hurt me! Wide. Don't Outside. hurt me! Too wide. Clear. Outside. Jesus! <laughs> I'm begging for my life here. He's gonna run into me. Clear. Jesus. This guy. <laughs> Trying to kill me and that other guy. This is why I'm staying out long. Alright, go. Please. Just go. You have better tires. You should be able to fly past me right now. Car inside. Why didn't he fly past me? Stay high. Clear inside. Thought I was going to be able to cut down eventually, and he just never went. We're gonna be in trouble if uh, we don't get a yellow, but I swear with guys driving like that through the field, we got fresh tires versus old tires, plus pit entry, it's really easy to spin. Feeling like there's just too good a chance that a caution comes out. The gap behind is now 2.3. We might have to come in after this next lap though. The car in front is pitting. Yep, they're spinning. That was the number two car, too, so that's going to be a spot eventually if we don't mess it up. Still got ten laps. Back in third. Keep right. hustling. Last lap time was at 58.6. That's good consistency. Keep it up. What do we do? What do we do? I think if the leader pits here, I'll pit as well. It would be nice to have some grip again. Though we'll see how much is actually out here. The track's not going to get fresh tires. Heads up. Alright, I think we have to pit this next time by. I'm calling it. We have to pit. Chad's catching us too. Let's do uh, right sides. Fill it up with fuel. What a great race it's to uh, force us to have to think about this. The car in front is pitting. 
Slow it down, gotta slow it down a lot. There we go. Speed limit. The pit lane speed limit is 60. Didn't mean to smoke him up, but I did. Okay, Colton. We'll fuel you to the Chad's end following race. us. It's gonna be loose enough already, so we'll only take how much fuel we need. Hopefully two tires isn't a bad Five, idea. Three, two, one. Right here. Easy now. You idiot. I went smooth and slow in there too, and it still I still slid past it. 8047. Jesus, man. Go, go, go! Now, uh, this pit exit is not a guarantee either. Good luck down and fingers crossed for taking two. So we gotta kinda be careful as well. Exiting. There we go. Carter is leading the race. Interesting how this has cycled out. Get the feel for these tires. Make sure they're not completely deadly. Looks like the five cars coming out of the pits. We've come out in front of a couple guys, I think. Nice and smooth, you're running second. Running second? Alright. Two tires feels great, to be honest. Maybe it's just compared to <laughs> our all four worn tires we just had, but two tires feels great right now. Five must have uh, taken two tires as well. And I'm guessing maybe the seven took two, maybe. And then the the two car, of course, spun it. The lead is pitting now. Oh, he hadn't pit yet. That's interesting. How on earth did we finesse this? The car behind you. You're in third. Am I missing something? Did I not put enough fuel in or something? I'm confused. So we got four seconds to the seven. Did you see that? What gave it away? Oh, he sped. That's what kidding. happened. We got breathing exercises. Don't hit the wall. That would be embarrassing. Breathing doesn't fix stupid, I guess. Yeah, the uh, seven's kind of just holding at about four seconds right now. We still have 15 to go, though. Not a thinker, you're right there. Well, so I'm thinking the two tire call gets a two thumbs up from me. Even if we fall behind the seven. The gap behind is now 4.2. What were our left sides? I'm going to check that in a second. Here. 91.79, so the left front was great. Left rear kind of worn. I gotta watch out that this thing doesn't start getting looser. That lap was a 
see, he's gaining about two tenths a lap, I think. I don't know if that's going to be enough for him. I don't know, maybe he's gaining quicker than I think. We'll, we'll check at the line here. What do we have at the line? 3.6, so we'll see that next lap, where that's looking. You're in the lead. Heck, we might be gaining on him, I don't know. I think that's just random fluctuations, though, with the relative. He's not even gaining on him on me anymore. We gained on him that lap. So if you do do this combo this week, I recommend two tires if you get a green flag stop, I guess. So right now it's looking like we're pulling off the two tire finesse. I wonder if I had pushed harder that first run, then two tires wouldn't have worked as well. Because I imagine maybe my left sides would have been worse off. And in that case, would two tires have worked? I don't know. I was really gentle that first run though, I will say that. And then of course, we did have the guy that spawned on entry and the other guy that sped, so they could have easily been in front of us right now. The lap time was at 57.4. So there could be a, <laughs> just as much luck involved here as the two-tire call being the reason this happened, but... Wow. Gonna be coming to uh, 10 to go, and we're still gaining on the 7. 7 pit on the same lap as us. So it's trying to drop the cups he's done. Great job, ten to go. Just been running my uh, the not, the line that feels most natural to me ever since pitting. It's running lower. Might have to migrate up again, like those other guys did, but. Right now it's working, so I'm not going to change it. Got a good X out of four that time. Yeah, two tires. I mean, it feels just as fast as four, to be honest. I just hope we keep this thing green. I don't know if I can beat the other guys on short run.
and then you might get guys taking two tires that took four the last stop and I can't compete with that even if I take two tires again so my left sides are getting worse and worse alright Colton your lap times are pretty consistent I don't think we have any green-white checkers in this series, so I'm hoping we can get to about lap 47, I guess we would need to get to. And then a yellow would just end it, right? So that's kind of the current goal right now. That and don't hit the wall, which has been a goal for the whole race. And so far, so good. On that front. I haven't felt the car getting loose like it did in the first run yet. We haven't gotten as far into it at this point. So maybe I'll start feeling it once we get closer to the end of this thing, but still it's gripping up much better. Alright, come to six to go. We've got about a four and a half second lead over P2. Ten seconds to third, which is crazy. really stinks for the two and uh, the guy who sped I think was the five they obviously were in that front group of the fastest cars in this race the entry here is deceivingly difficult you have to slow down a whole lot from pretty fast speeds and if you're like me putting the brake bias back it can really be easy to end up like uh, the two did sideways on entry Five laps to go. Just, uh, Five to great, go. Spot for some hardware. great spot for some hardware. We're going to Home Depot? Heck yeah. I'm going to get a table saw, a new refrigerator, some miscellaneous bolts. You never know when you're going to need some miscellaneous bolts and screws. Maybe we'll do Lowe's instead. Let's see, are we feeling uh, Tony Stewart or Jimmy Johnson today? You've got about five laps of fuel. We'll do Home Depot, so that way next time we go to Charlotte we can uh, go to Lowe's. How about that? That seems like a good compromise. Alright, four to go. I think once we cross the line here we might be okay if there's a yellow. I still... I'm flabbergasted how I got here. You got about four laps of fuel left. Four laps of fuel left. Man, we cut it close, didn't we, with that fuel? I guess maybe I shouldn't have trusted the auto fuel so closely, but it looks like it's going to work out for us. some lap traffic coming up. Hopefully that won't be an issue. You got about 
about three laps of fuel left. That lap was at 58.0. We're good on fuel. It makes me nervous when we have uh, we come to three to go and it says you have three laps of fuel left, but we've really got a little uh, closer to three and a half at the line, so we're fine. Half a lap brings you a long way on a track this big. That's my bad. Eleven hours already committed, buddy. We're good. We're battling, bud. That's insane. Yeah, I took it the battle, man. Been a clean battle. Been fun, bud. Feel like I got that practice I needed. I was talking about needing some more practice. Feel like I got the handle on it a little bit better here with this combo. Still don't know if I'm brave enough to do that higher line the guys were taking earlier. Once uh, the dynamic track started kicking in, it looked like. But it hasn't felt like we've needed to this second run. Bottom line's been gripping up just fine. Maybe it would have been a little faster if I ventured out closer uh, to the wall, or at least that middle lane. But, I mean, we're pulling away from P2, so... you got about two laps of fuel left. Well, that's good. we got two laps of fuel left, and we've got about one to go. So, we can get a little bit of draft. From the nine car. There's gonna be no reason to pass him, so we're just gonna hang behind him even if we do reach him. One more lap, keep it together, we'll win this. We think you'll be out of fuel on the next lap. That lap time was fifty seven point eight. The lap time's pretty consistent. The gap behind is now six point five seconds. So we're just gonna ride behind Taco Bell here even if we get to him. We got ourselves a six second lead. You have about one lap of fuel left. Hey, right. one lap of fuel left. We'll just uh, hang out behind the nine. All right, we finessed our way to this win. I don't know how that happened. Two tires and some luck. Inside. Great, great, great. Absolutely flawless. You won. Yeah, we did it. Too bad it wasn't for a million. Good race, guys. I got real lucky there. Hell of a race, guys. Way to keep it clean and green the whole time. Good race. Yeah, hey, uh, number 11 again, buddy. It was good racing you, like, the whole race, man. All right, what an uh, awesome nice race. Racing. Green flag running. I agree. Thanks, buddy. It was a lot of fun racing with you, too. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, there was some time How about I that? I you, and I was like, oh, he's coming back. So good job, buddy. I did it. I just, um, I, I, I definitely can't stress enough how nice it is to race against some clean guys. You know what I mean? 86, 82. Yep, I'm with you. It was a lot of fun. We'll race again soon, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely, buddy. I am thrilled with the fourth half of the spin on, like, lap 11 or whatever. I pit right away. Although my tires are cut. I, I was going to say, man, yeah, I tried to get that full spot for you, man. Keegan, I thought you had me. Yeah, I'll talk to Chad how, uh, how surprised I was that that second lane was working as much as it did. Because usually it feels like at Indy, if you get to the inside of somebody, that's your spot. Okay, everybody. Got top five. We'll take we'll take home a nine second win though after pit stops. Two of the three guys in front of us had a mistake, and then uh, I guess maybe the seven took two tires. Pretty wild. Uh oh. Oh yeah, they had a pretty close finish, it looks like. Third through sixth.
Thanks, Chad. Once you passed them, I thought you were going to be gone. But I guess you were probably driving pretty hard trying to catch both, uh, both packs. Uh, All right, so we will see the incidents then. Get the camera all set up. So lap two, uh oh. I saw this guy leave early, that's why. That really stinks. He just got loose there and uh, wrecks it bad, but there was no one behind him, so no yellow thrown. He gets it off the track. Six is not getting that thing to turn, probably over drove it a little bit. Or a lot of it. Thirteen bounces the wall and then no control over the thing. Another case where somebody wrecks, but uh, no one was behind him. So uh, we continue green as we did the whole race. That twenty. Oh no. What happened here? Looks like the 9 just maybe missed his braking zone. It's kind of hard to hear the engine. Drove in, like, really hard. Probably missed his braking zone and somehow not a wreck there. Several times now we could have had a yellow. I mean, he's backing up on the track right now, but no one's behind him. Thirteen looks like he's got a broken car. That's probably not handling quite right. Here's what happened to the two. So that's uh, exactly what I was worried about. You have to slow it down so quick. And I can already tell right here, he's way too fast. Like, uh, I almost... You have to, like, slow yourself exiting four, and I like to keep it, you know, down low. I start braking right about here. And you can see, like, he's maybe lifting off the gas, but he doesn't start braking until right about here. And uh, it could theoretically work, but if you have the brakes dialed back even a little bit, I feel like. You can see he's about to speed, so he has to slam on the brakes as hard as he can, and that just pitches it sideways as uh, hard as he tried to uh, counteract that. And if the, the race is going to go green, that's just way too much time lost, and... He might have sped anyway, I'm not sure. I think he must have because look, the uh, 5 finished ahead of him and we know for sure because the 5 said it, he sped. What did I do? Nothing, just the tires getting worn I guess. Might get a couple of those so we'll skip ahead a little bit. So the 7 pit on the same lap as us. How did that work out for him? Like, how did that all happen? See, we're coming in now. He had to have taken uh, two ti or four tires. See, I even slid past my box a centimeter yep there it is he's taking the uh, four tires and we're going so that's how we got in front of him two tires is the way to go did we gain a bunch on exit too maybe eh, looking like we hold even for the most part it's just that's uh, such a huge difference. The tire changes take so long in this car. If you take two tires and it's uh, pretty comparable to four, you think you're in good shape. Well, anyway, continue looking at what happened out here. Lap 48, getting close to the end of this thing. The 8 almost ended the 11. That was close. Chad's in the mix here. And uh, that was the end of it. Just that small tap. Final incident. Incredible race. 
Caution free the whole way. That is awesome. What happened to me on this lap? Oh, we were uh, letting guys go and stuff. I'm like, why did we have a minute long lap there? But that's all that was. We're close to a minute long laps anyway, to begin with. Oh, right. And then we almost got killed. So the six overdrives it and then cuts down and then comes all the way down and almost hooks me. He was kind of swerving all over the track at that point. Glad he didn't kill us because we ended up winning the race somehow. So we'll go ahead and check out the uh, race results page. See all of the uh, information, all the stuff gained and all that good stuff. 26.43 strength of field and a win for us. Not even close to the fastest lap time. I mean, the 7, the 11. You've got, uh, I'm sure, a couple guys down here probably had faster laps. No, actually, the 2. I figured the 2 and the 5 would have faster laps as well, but not quite. Our fastest lap was lap 34, though. Which is interesting, because that's before we pit, isn't it? So kind of a weird race for us. But the two-tire call and some luck got us the win. Seven gets the fastest lap. Those guys all had their fastest lap. Right about there. Maybe that was after we pit. Yeah, no, that is after we pit. Never mind, because we pit on lap 33. So two tires got us our, got us our fastest lap. And uh, hey, Chad will gain a little bit there. Both uh, I rating and uh, safety rating. So well done to him. And uh, I guess that will do it for this one. So, so we somehow finesse a win out of this one. Thank you for joining me for it. It was a fun race for sure. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.